behalf of the Aquadum community, Electricity Company of Ghana Regional Office, Efijase, Highways, Abrewan Kwanta, Asokori and other areas were all submerged on Sunday night. The several hours of downpour displaced hundreds within these communities and caused destruction to properties. Unfortunately, residents of Sentimental, a suburb of Koforidia, woke up to see the lifeless body of a man, believed to be in his late 50s, floating in the flood waters. The police and the NADMO, who went to the scene with the help of some community members, managed to retrieve the body of the middle-aged man who is yet to be identified. The police who have begun investigations are calling on relatives to come forth and help identify the victim. According to some residents, they believe the unidentified body was carried by flight water from a different area to their community as the man is not known in the community. The New Jabin North Security Council, the MP for the area, highways, feed the roads, NADMO, EPA and fire service also told affected communities to inspect the level of damage. The team on reaching the affected area saw residents cleaning the field left behind by the flats. Others were busily rearranging their setups and drying the wet items. <laughs> It's been almost 60 years since flooding of this magnitude was recorded in Aquadum. The Member of Parliament for New Jabin North, Nanai J. Boateng, is not a happy man. He believes the entire drainage system in the municipality should be redesigned. It's about the solution to the problem. But even what we tackled at Super, we have not been able to do it. It's a matter of, uh, they always say that we don't have enough resources for this kind of thing. But I think that one thing that we should also be doing collectively is that hydro is over central. They are in Accra, they are not in the regions. If you come into the regions, you should have offices in the regions so the hydro can also handle these things. They are not properly decentralized. They are, they are in Accra. I, I took it up with Wise when he was there. I talked about it several times that if you have a major flooding uh, situation, they will say go to the hydro people. And where are they? They are in Accra. He ever blamed Galamse activities upstream as a major contributing factor to the magnitude of the flood recorded. I've never seen it like that. And the, the volume of rains that we had in that catchment area would not have given us the floods. The floods are coming from upstream. And why are they coming from upstream? Because those are areas that are endemic for Galamse. So that is what is the, the challenge that we have. People want to get rich and they are endangering the uh, environment for us. And it's a responsibility for all of us. It's not for only the... Uh, the, the political figures is not only for the chiefs, everybody.